contagious and church us as a healthy heart can be outrageous so guard your heart from the start tune in the church us Introduced to some and present to others, Miss Julia A. Ralston. She said yes to being on the fourth season of Being Kind. She's about what she talks about. Check her out. I'm so excited to have a sister friend, Sister Julia. She has agreed to be in this Be Kind season of Healthy Heart, the fourth season. And I can't articulate how much I appreciate you, sis. And to give me an opportunity to say kind things about you and to you because it's not a given i was thinking about you this morning i was like how we see people on tv it'd be like i know her and then be trying to talk about all the kind of stuff how i know her and i was like lord she's on the magazine on the tv and i know her and i get to speak kind to her this side of heaven instead of saying hey y'all i know her i met her uh-uh god is so faithful so i want to say a few things and then however God leads you, but I met your person and your spirit over eight years ago. You came to the church to help out Debbie, and I was in the back, girl, because they said that you could sing on this special day, and that anybody could, and so this teenager had taught me, maybe when I was in my 40s, because I can't sing, he said, cha-cha, um, what you need to do is sing watermelon. Then I found, to the beat of the song, then I found out later that I wasn't supposed to sing watermelon out loud, girl. But when you, I didn't know, I'm saying watermelon, no matter what the song was. And so I thought, okay. And then you came with this gorgeous spirit. Girl, I sung out loud to whatever you was telling us to sing. And I was like, look at God and just the kindness and the coaching that's in you. And I watched you. And you are a no compromise saint. You don't compromise. And then your smile, nobody felt little bitty. I know I didn't because I felt like the least of them on the back row because Debbie knew I couldn't sing. I just love to shout. So they let me get up for us. So I could just run when I needed to run. <laughs> but you, I felt like, uh oh, I might be able to sing. This girl, so your kind spirit didn't know you. But then I saw how you talked to Debbie, the leader, and you had no respect to treat us less than. And I'm like, oh my God, this is a peculiar lady. I don't know where she got a pretty smile and she's pulling. Then I got allowed me to hook up and see you again at a table at a book fair and the same smile and this big old banner. And it was like, that's the lady at the church. And then you talk and you said, you all writing a book? You want to? I mean, just so sweet. Mm. I wanted to shout in that barn or wherever we was, but it's like, okay, can't do that child, not yet. And then I asked you on the first or second season to come to Healthy Heart. Girl, you were so kind. You don't know me. I don't know your middle name. You don't know me, but you came this way and that's kind. And I'm like, my God. Then when you talk, I repeat what you said. You said, and I've told people, Julia said, they don't even know who Julia, Julia said she's going hard in the paint. You may not even remember telling me that back then. <laughs> Oh, I probably did. Uh, yes, yeah, you did. That's me. That's yeah, you right, did. what I do. Yeah, right you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. And so I've watched you, and God has given you the desire and fulfilling the desire. And then this morning, I'm thinking, so, I mean, it's so much. I can talk about your humility and your kindness. And I'm like, Lord, help me just to understand and be able to speak to her kindness. Girl, guess what he gave me? Galatians 5, 23. The fruit of the spirit. Because you root it, girl. And I said, that's it. That's it. Her love, the peace. And I went on your page this morning and you on the 5,000 something and on the this and the that and the that. But your humility, it takes strength to be humble. And then you said you would talk to me again. Your gentleness, I'm talking about what I'm knowing about. You hear me? Mm -hmm. I've watched. Just because I don't know your middle name. Don't know I can't test the spirit by the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Girl, your kindness. 
your gentleness, your patience, and your boldness. You were so bold to say, I'm going hard in the paint. Now, everywhere you see, there's your name going hard in the paint. I'm like, God, ah, and then you talk to me. Okay, I'm going to shut up after this. You talked to me and you told me you would walk me through what I was thinking about doing. And then you said, well, just told me what to do, you teacher, woman of God, you. So anyway, I could go on and on and on. But if somebody don't know what I'm talking about, go to Galatians 5, 22, 23. And Julia's picture will be there because she's rooted. <laughs> and that's the fruit. And that's all I got to say, like for us, that's all I can say about that. So whatever kindness, girl, whoo, I'm ready speak that it might become contagious so um you know kindness is something that's uh wonderful uh wonderful that we enjoy but people don't understand that it's free that um you know and, and that people don't have to do it but it's just it's free to be kind it's free to be um gentle to other people it's free to be nice and, um, but people don't have to be nice. And there's enough evil in the world. There's enough negativity in the world that if you, if, if you're exactly right. If we have opportunity to be nice and kind that we should. Um, so first off, we have to understand that the world is, belongs to God. Whether people wanna honor him, whether they wanna acknowledge who he is, he said, you know, the world is mine, the fullness thereof and everything that dwells therein is mine. OK, so therefore, whether you and the Lord knows those that are his that have uh, named him and said he's my savior, he knows that. But remember, all souls are his. So therefore, if you whether you acknowledge that you're God's child or not, you still belong to him. So therefore, that uh, lets me know that, you know, I have to be careful to en entertain everyone because all souls are God's. And then secondly, he said, be careful entertaining strangers because some have entertained angels unaware. So therefore, you don't know who is who. So sometimes angels can be disguised as strangers in your midst and you don't know them. And then angels can be sent in human form, which I believe I've had that happen to me, where they come to encourage you and you're like, who, who was that? And then they, you look around and they disappear. Um, so therefore being kind is something that, yes, is a part of the gentleness, meekness and humbleness is a part of the spirit. Because I tell you, when you try to get out of yourself and you try to be what you thought, what your, uh, uh, as I say, what your flesh says, uh, the spirit will convict you. And the spirit, even if you're right in your feelings, you cannot necessarily act on them because the spirit restrains you and pulls you back and convicts you from acting in your feelings. And you want to make sure that you pass those tests. So even though kindness and gentleness is, is kind of my natural personality, you know, I can be angry, but I got to remember, I got to sin not. And so, uh, so therefore, kindness is one of those things that's free, but that we should um, seek to sow it so that Take we a quick break. But the sponsor, we got to pay the bills, y'all. Ha <laughs> ha. But keep in touch with this mighty woman of God. Follow her. She can help. Be right back. <laughs> Therefore, I strive to sow gentleness, humility, kindness to others because that's what I want in return. Now, it doesn't always come back that way. It doesn't always come back in the same way. It doesn't always come back 
uh, when I actually wanted. But therefore, if I continue to sow, sow that, I will reap that harvest. So between understanding who you're dealing with, you know, um, I get frustrated. I tell God all the time, you know, I love you, but some of your children getting on my nerves, you know, and that's a real place. That's an honest place. That's a place I have uh, a conversations in my personal time and Woo! And, and with my clients, at times I have to say, okay, I can't seem to convince them, but I thank God you can supernaturally do that. And I cannot tell you how many times he has changed their mind on a specific thing. And I know it was God in the supernatural, but it's like any mother or any father with their kids. Uh, you, they can talk about them, but you better leave them alone. So therefore I go to they the daddy on i go to daddy god on them and i say now your children get on my nerves you say yeah and that's true they get on mine too but you better not touch them and you better not mess with them mm -hmm. so therefore kindness has got to be rooted in god one and then two it's got to be rooted rooted in the holy spirit that's working in you and then three it's got to be rooted in that you don't want to reap that because i tell you god can get you better than anybody okay he can get you and and no matter how you kick, like the kids with the tantrum, no matter how you kick and scream and ah, it doesn't matter. If he says no, it will not happen. I don't care what you do. If he says yes, nobody can stop it. So therefore, um, being in the season of, of being kind, uh, no matter what time of the year that you're listening to this, that you hear this, seek to do this. Seek to um, show kindness. Um, it's like um, when you're talking about be kind and, and showing kindness, um, King David, um, back in the scriptures, mm -hmm. when he was a uh, king and uh, Mephibosheth was the uh, descendant of King Saul and all of that that had happened. And Jonathan, his, his knit, as they say, his rod or die brother did, but he said, I still want to see, is there any descendants who I can show kindness to? Is there anyone? Now, uh, Mephibosheth was down in Lodavar, of course, um, uh, because he was crippled in both feet and shamed of his crippledness and had to be carried everywhere he went because his nerves had dropped him. But David said, I want to show kindness. And so we're going to sit you at the table and we may not, we're not going to be able to see your feet and you are the descendants of the king and you're gonna eat and you're gonna be carried and carried forth and taken care of until you take your last breath because of one man who wanted to show kindness. Now, was that required? No, that was just a part of David's spirit itself because he was a man, remember, after God's own whore. So therefore showing love to people who can't necessarily return it to you is a God thing and not necessarily something in your own human spirit. So it's something that God puts down in you because I'm, I, me personally, and I won't name them, but there are other people, unless you are a celebrity, unless you're strategically connected to somebody else, or unless you can really reciprocate that, you know, the man on the street, the lady who just needs a hug, with no teeth, dirty, that don't smell so nice, they won't reach out. But you never know. Those may have been angels wrapped in those human bodies to test you. And they may never give you anything. You may never see them again. But you have sown that and you shall reap a magnificent harvest from someone who cannot give you anything in return. But because of your kindness, God will heap blessings upon you because you were kind to someone else. So it's free to you, especially if you're in a position to bless. He that will bless shall be blessed. He that will, who curses you, I'll curse him. God said, well, hold on. If, they, if, they, if they're not so nice to you, I'm gonna get them. So he said, remember, vengeance is mine. I take care of that. You just continue to walk in humility, be kind, show kindness. I take care of the rest. You walk after the fruit of the spirit. You do what I called you to do. 
then I'll take care of the rest. And believe you me, in my lifetime, in my 58 years, I have no problem telling my age. At 58 years old, I have seen it done. So my job is to show kindness. My job is to forgive. My job is to, to seek to um, fulfill the purpose and plan God has for my life. And I, you know, I just never know because I've, I've met, I've met millionaires and they're standing there and holes in their clothes. And they're like, they're multimillionaire. Well, I didn't know it. I just said, hi. But, you know, other people, did you know you were speaking to? Did you know? I'm like, no. I say hi to everybody because I don't know. I don't go around saying, do you have a million dollars? There's a hole in your shirt. Did you know that? But that's just their favorite shirt. You know, and I, I tell people all the time, you know, you never know somebody who may be inventing a multi-million dollar. They've been up all night. They don't care what shirt they have on. They just rolled out to get some Starbucks coffee so they could make it and finish up this million dollar project. They didn't care that they shoes didn't match and they socks didn't match. They're not focused on that. They got bigger fish to fry than how they look on the outside. And remember God said, I'm looking at the heart anyway. Oh girl, you man, look at on the outward appearance. Who's gonna sit in the high seat? Who's got the most expensive clothes on? Who drives the most expensive car? Who, who, who? But he said, remember, I'm looking at the heart of the matter. So be kind. It's free. Be kind. It's easy. If you seek to be kind, kindness will be returned to you. May not be from the same place. May not be from the same person. But seek to be kind. Oh, girl. I mean, drop the mic. Because it was all <laughs> worth it. It won't return void. Just drop the mic. To God be the glory that you exhibit what you talk about. And I thank you for coming this way. Whew. I mean, I don't have, mm, mm, I can't talk no more. No more needs to be said because it's word. Thank you. Sis. You're welcome. You're welcome. And please know, you know, I, I will come run it. Yeah. So thank you. We'll say, welcome, God, love. I, I, you just fed me, girl. Mm. As I now, huh? Okay. <laughs> So we'll say cha cha from cha cha and my sister Julia. Mm. Bye bye. Oh, girl, God is merciful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, oh.